Vegas. What's up, my people? It's been a minute. I know I'm not making videos as fast as as much as I would really like to, but I'm working on it. And hopefully, you know, in the following couple weeks, I'll get super inspired because I am going to somewhere really cool uh, in like tomorrow. I'm leaving tomorrow. Burning Man with my dad. But you know the video is gonna be amazing when it comes out, so stay tuned for that. And I know you clicked on the video, Jesse, you clicked, bang, blah, 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 blah. No, I didn't. I'm gonna get into all the juicy drama, the reason you clicked, that you wanna watch. But first, I'm gonna make you watch something dope. So that's where he's got the mask. Today is a pretty special day, and not only yes, today is the day of the solar eclipse, but today is also the day that I'm having an epic meetup with Levi's and you guys in New York City where I made this jacket. Anyways, I was saying, it's the day I'm gonna meet all you guys here and give away a bunch of these jackets. This will be the only place you can get it as of now, and I gotta hear if we get there. Here, but I'm trying to avoid you guys before the meetup so I don't get bombarded. Uh, how do I get in here? All right, we well, in Macy's. This is where the meetup's at. Dude, let me bring my bike inside. Should I ride it? What's up, yo? What's up, Jesse? Hello, <laughs> from Chicago. <laughs> Okay, I'm here at the Macy's meetup. Um, we thought of a way to give out some of the jackets is doing this raffle. We've got a bunch of names here. What's your name? I'm Wilbert. Oh, I'm on camera. Hi, guys. I'm Wilbert. Oh, Wilbert? Okay, yes. Wilbert's helping us out here. All right, here we go. Right, we'll pick some names now. See who can win the jackets. Very nice to see it's on the eBay. No, You're gonna flip it on the eBay? No way. Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah what's your name? Right here, I saved one jacket aside for not the raffle to somebody that I knew that was a was a hardcore. Bro, I mean, I got the shirt, the hat. I'm about to okay, cry, where do you want me to? Where do you want me to sign it? Sign it right there. I want to lace you really up. You deserve it. Yeah, it fits this good. This is so surreal. Perfect. Man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for watching, man. I appreciate Thank it. For every year, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Go ahead. Make me cry. That looks good. I know that. You do. Of course you do. Oh, you do. You really do. Look, she even, she even did the feet. That's a hard work feet right there. That's it for the meetup. It was amazing. Thank you, Levi's and Macy's, for coming through and letting me have a meetup at your spot and meeting all you guys. Um, I think if the jacket is a crazy success, we can make it go for sale. But all those jackets I gave away, they're uh, you know one of one as of right now. But thank you, Xavier, right here on my right. He shot a lot of the gimbal shots. My homie Brandon, you already know. I'm out of here. Yo, I'm hanging at the Dolan Twins warehouse. This place is amazing, man. It's not even fair. These kids are seven. Are you 17? 17. 17, they got a fantasy factory already. They got, got a foam pit. Yo, and they got a zip line. What? Oh! Yo, they got a mini ramp in this thing. Hey. Hey. They got an air 
Dirt track, man. Really? Enough fun, boys. The real reason I came out was to help them shoot one of their videos. They wanted to do something epic. Um, we're yeah. waiting. We're waiting for a, a special guest to come through. We do have a special but guest. But these coming. dudes are awesome. If you want to check them out, link in the description. Go subscribe. Follow Thanks, them. Man. Shooting the Dolan Twins video. A lot of it with the A7. You guys always ask me about gear. This is what we're gonna do. Some of those epic slow mo shots. They got a horse. We got a horse. We got a horse. <laughs> But I need a little tri pizzle to chisel to click it in the pizzle. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. If you guys ever wondered how I get like these smooth cinematic shots, this is all I'm using. It's the A7S Mark II on a uh, Ronin. This is the first Ronin M. And I use this little mini small HD to see. And I shoot the slow-mo inside the camera. That's how I get those real crispy slow motion shots. I don't know why, but for some reason when you shoot in slow-mo on here, and instead of shooting the high frame rate and doing it in post, it doesn't look as good. So, if you ever wanted to know. I didn't realize I was this allergic to horses. <laughs> I didn't know you could be allergic to horses. Unfortunately. Oh man, so don't get any horses. <laughs> Video is complete. Thanks for having me, boys. Hopefully, it came out as cool as we hope. Thanks for coming, man. And uh, that's it. We'll see y'all later. All right, you made it to the end. You want the juicy gossip drama stuff. And you know, I, would, I never really wanted to touch on this subject again and really bring it up in my videos and talk about it and give you too much of my personal, personal life. But you know, Gina went ahead and made a video about it and it was pretty good and she said some, like everything she said was completely truthful and it came from her heart and I can understand her frustrations with the comments and stuff and asking about us and she kind of wanted to just address that stuff. And you know, I just wanted to get on here and give you a little bit of of it from myself and, and some things I wanted to tell you guys about it, about how we broke up and what happened. And, and if you didn't watch our video, you know, you can go over to bf gf and check it out and it might fill you in a little bit, but not to try to make this video too boring. But I mean, I just want to make this short and sweet about, you know, what, what kind of happened from, from my point of view is, this is almost like a public service announcement for all YouTube vloggers that give a big piece of their personal life and you just got to be really careful with this with this tool of of people commenting on your life and and you making a video every day because when you make a video every day about your life you you know you're making it on YouTube and for people and you want it to continue to do well so when people comment things that you should be doing, you do them in your vlogs. And so it's almost like you're not even living your own life. You're just living a life that people through the internet tell you to live. And it kind of like mentally screws you up a little bit. And you gotta be careful with that. And, and, and you don't think about it when you're in it. You're like, no, that could never happen, but it, it really can happen. And things like that, you know, it's, it's like I always say, like I almost feel like we sold our relationship to the internet almost. And it's fucking fucked up and sad and, and I mean that's not just all of it. You can watch Gina's video and she explains it a lot better than I can. And, and it's, it just was a lot and like creatively and, and Gina and I just, you know, we grew into two different people and, and I, just, I just seen things differently. And here we are now. Um, I mean I would never change the 10 years I've spent with her for anything in the planet. She's still my number one person I care about the most in this world. She might not feel the same about me. I, I did some fucked up shit, you know, after the breakup and stuff, but we're not gonna get into drama, juicy drama, you know. I just wanted to get on here and maybe express some of my, you know, my side of things. And we're still really good friends and we still care about each other gratefully. And, and like she said, like a big turning point was the past of my mom and our relationship. And I know it's just, I don't really like to talk about it, but I did and I gave it to you. And I'm probably never gonna talk about it again. And hopefully you stick with me and hang out for these awesome videos. And I'm probably gonna go black on the internet for like a good 10 days because I'm gonna lose myself in the desert, bringing my dad 
and I'm gonna definitely capture as much as possible. And when I come home, I'm probably gonna edit for like three weeks straight on the video because I want it to be the best movie ever. And I'm super excited. Burning Man is such an, ins an like, inspiring and spiritual adventure. And no, I don't do drugs, and my dad is definitely not doing drugs. And yeah, so that's it. So hopefully you guys can understand. And if you really, if you really mess with your boy, if you really mess with your boy, take one second right now. You got a second? Do you? Do you have a second? Take that one second. Hit the thumbs up button and hit the post notifications because you don't want to miss this Barney Man video. I love y'all. Peace. Peace.